The CDC is urging doctors and hospitals to be on the lookout for enterovirus in children. The infection can lead to a disorder that causes extreme muscle weakness. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi, explains more about the virus, its symptoms, and how concerned parents should really be. The CDC is urging doctors and hospitals to be on the lookout for enterovirus D68 in children. Now, the infection can lead to AFM or acute flaccid myelitis. Now, this is a disorder that causes extreme muscle weakness. Now, the risk of permanent paralysis is extremely rare. Only a small number of kids infected with enterovirus D68 actually develop AFM, acute flaccid myelitis. Now, let me explain what these are. Now, enterovirus D68 is a contagious virus, and cases typically peak between August and November. It often causes respiratory infections in children and teens, although adults can also get infected. Most kids develop cold-like symptoms, for example, a runny nose, cough, fever, and body aches. However, if a child has asthma, they can develop more severe symptoms like wheezing and difficulty breathing, right? Having said that, any child can develop severe illness. And so there was an outbreak in 2014, 130 kids developed AFM and 14 reportedly died. Now, during the 2018 outbreak, there are 238 reports of AFM and no deaths reported during the acute illness of patients. As for a vaccine for enterovirus D68, unfortunately, there isn't one. And there's also no specific treatment either. Most kids, right, with mild symptoms improve in a week or two. But if your child develops arm or leg weakness, facial drooping or slurred speech, very important, then get medical attention right away. Now, the best way to avoid uh, the virus or slow its spread is to do what? Practice good hygiene. We talk about it all the time. Since it spreads through coughing and sneezing, please remind children, do what? Please ask them to cough or sneeze into the crook of their elbow. Ask them not to share items like eating utensils, cups, towels, or clothing. And lastly, important to do what? Wash your hands often with soap and water. The good news is, so far, there have been no reports of paralysis in this wave of infections, but that could change as the virus spreads, and we'll keep you up to date. For 7 Action News, I'm Dr. Parthenandi.